Video P5 helps you to change fractions into percentages. This comes up quite often in the 11 plus questions. So it's well worth having a go at learning and also practicing so that you can perfect doing it really quickly. So on the triangle, it's this one here. If we move on, the simplest ones that you may be presented with are where you're given a fraction with 100 on the bottom. So because percent means out of 100, this top number is actually your percentage. 7 out of 100 is 7%. So just circle the top number and that becomes your percentage. You're more likely to get, percent, get fractions like this where there isn't 100 on the bottom. So your first step is to try and convert those fractions so they do have 100 on the bottom using your skills of converting fractions, which we learned a couple of weeks ago. So here I can change the bottom into 100 by times in by 2. Whatever you do to the bottom, you also do to the top. So on the top, I times by 2 and I get 12. Now my fraction is over 100. This becomes my percentage, 12%. On my next one, I've got 9 25ths. I can change 25 into 100 by times in by 4. Whatever you do to the bottom, you also do to the top. So my numerator becomes 36. Because it's now over 100, this is my percentage. With this one down at the bottom, 3 twentieths, I can change 20 into 100 by times in by 5. Whatever you do to the bottom, you also do to the top. So I'd get 15 on the top, making this percentage 15%. So, whatever fraction you're given, see if you can change it into a fraction with 100 on the bottom by multiplying. Sometimes it's not quite that simple. With these two, you can't do it in one simple stage. So what you need to do first of all is simplify that fraction such that it's in a state where you have a number like one of these on the bottom. These are factors of 100 and they're very easy to then change into 100. So with 9 thirtieths I can't change 30 into 100 by timesing by a single number. So first I'm going to simplify. I can divide by 3, top and bottom here, which will give me 3 over 10. Now I've got a number which is in this list over here, I know that I can change that to 100. I can times by 10 to give me 100 on the bottom, and I can times by 10 on the top to give me 30. So this becomes 30%. So it's a two-stage effort. Here again I can simplify. This time I'm, going to, I'm just going to divide by 2 because I know they're both even. So if I divide by 2 here and I divide by 2 here, I'm going to get 12 over 20. I know I can change 20 into 100 by times in by 5. So I'll get 100 on the bottom and I'll get 60 on the top. Here is my percentage, 60%. Quite challenging this final stage, but these are the ones that are most likely to come up. They're unlikely to give you something like 227, which you can't change to 100 um, in, in two stages. These are as tricky as they get.